used to be an anime otaku. <laughs> What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, AT Corps' unmanned bipedal weapons. Officially designated Irving by the US military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. Oh, and Snake, I went ahead and used the Mark II to scout out the area before your arrival. Mark II? It's a remote mobile terminal. Sunny and I built it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. Octocamo is a newly developed camouflage technology that's capable of almost exactly mimicking the appearance of objects and surfaces. It can be a powerful tool if you use it right. So tell me, how does it feel? Mm, not as itchy as I'd have thought. That suit can mimic the color, pattern, and even the surface texture of walls and floors. Kind of like procuring your own camo on site, right? I do just fine with the regular stuff. I'm not a chameleon. You've got it all wrong. We're not talking about lizards. This is Octocamo. In other words, it's based on the camouflage capabilities of the octopus. Octopus are sometimes called ninja of the sea. They fool their enemies by mimicking not just the color of their surroundings, but also the shape of the terrain. That suit takes its cue from defensive deception found in nature. Besides, you may not have known this, but there is a snake that can change its body color too. It's called the Kapuas mud snake. It's a poisonous reptile indigenous to the Kapuas River on the island of Borneo. Its coloring is normally a reddish brown, but sometimes turns to white. So, snakes can sport disguises too. Hey, what happened to stealth camo? You used to wear it all the time. All that does is create an optical illusion. It's no use against Gecko with their infrared sensors. Octocamo, on the other hand, has micro-peltier arrays that regulate the absorption and release of heat, harmonizing the wearer's body heat with any background IR radiation. Which means it can offer you at least some camouflage protection against enemy infrared sensors. With so many unmanned weapons in the field these days, I'd expect it to outperform the old stealth camel. But if you start walking or running or making a lot of noise, you'll risk getting spotted by the enemy. And get this, the suit also reduces the weight load on your body and amplifies muscle power. The inside lining sends a weak electric current through your body that stimulates phospholipid production inside your cells, improving circulation. That should make your life gauge recover more rapidly when you're hurt. 
In other words, Snake, it's a bit of a crutch. You can cut the senior citizen crap, Otacon. Otacon, those two-legged machines. They're not like the Metal Gears I'm used to dealing with. Right. Strictly speaking, though, they're not Metal Gears. What are you talking about? The Gears you fought before were all basically designed and produced to serve as nuclear platforms. Ray was an exception to the rule, but even that was an anti-Metal Gear weapon designed to defeat the Metal Gear clones popping up all over the world. Its value was still measured in terms of the framework of nuclear strategy. It's been 25 years since the end of the Cold War. We live in a world of regional conflict and asymmetric warfare, and it's getting worse every year. The age of the war economy is upon us. The value of Metal Gear as a weapon, the very concept itself has changed with the times. You might even say it's evolved. Nowadays, a Metal Gear needs to be more than a nuclear attack platform. It needs to be adaptable, well-suited to fight in large numbers, traverse urban settings and work alongside infantry. The Gecko were the answer. There are different types of Gecko designed for different missions, and not all of them are equipped with nuclear capabilities, so technically, they're not Metal Gears. Of course, there are still some of the old Metal Gears around. Their primary job is to launch nuclear strikes. But these days, Gecko are the first name in bipedal war machines. They may have gotten smaller, but they're as ferocious as ever. Whatever you do, don't underestimate them. You looked awfully serious to me when you first saw that camera. You must have panicked just a little. Not a bit. Not at all? Are you sure? Barely registered. You're imagining things. Am I? Yeah, you are. Well, this is how you sounded. A surveillance camera? Come on, you were scared out of your wits. <sighs> Am I right? No! Well, well, aren't we getting cranky in our old age? I'm not deaf. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. It's been too long. Rejoice! We're not copies of our father. After all, we are free of the shackles of fate. Snake, brother. We are free. Put down the gun, Snake. too late. Naomi told me everything. Thanks to her, I finally have it. The thing I've sought for so long. The body of Big Boss. Back before father's time, before Zero gave birth to the Patriots. The US, China, and the Soviet Union formed a secret pact. they created was called the Philosophers. Through two world wars, it spread its roots and extended its reach. After that, the Philosophers splintered, and factions began to squabble over the fortune they'd amassed. They called it the Philosophers' Legacy. 
a massive cache of funds that would later provide the foundation for Zero's patriots. Zero sought to use his riches to achieve world domination. Our father, Big Boss, sought to free himself from that chokehold. His dream was to create an army of free citizens, one that answered to no government. Outer heaven. But he failed because of you. Nine years ago, I tried to free us from the control of our genes. Four years later, our dear brother Solidus sought to free us from the control of the Patriots' means. All of that, all of it, was nothing more than a process of trial and error. The end result of which is outer haven. It could be free from sons of the Patriots. The ultimate form of external control imposed on the Patriots' soldiers. From Fox Die. Free from the system. Free from ID control. Rise and shine, Snake.
This is just as I'd hope things would end. Who almost did it, but it looks like I win after all. The time has come for you to witness our moment of triumph.
I did it! <laughs> 